From Native American spirits to mysterious floating lights, the Shenandoah Mountains are home to folklore dating back to the 18th century. While skeptics of these stories litter the valley, many believers think these ridges may be home to the iconic and elusive beast, Bigfoot. Among those believers is Massachusetts native Daniel Benoit, founder and lead researcher for the East Coast Bigfoot Research Organization, who found his love for Bigfoot through nature, exploring the region, and the species that inhabit it. Yeah, I grew up in the woods since I was a young child, and I'm very familiar with a lot of wildlife. But, but after seeing that footage and it opened up a new world to me, it actually had me looking for the evidence for myself. I wanted to know for sure. Benoit has been tracking Sasquatches for 13 years, now sharing his love for the creature with 30 other members of his organization. Even till now, I, I still go out a lot by myself. Although now there's more uh, people that are affiliated and associated with me, uh, not just here in Virginia, but um, up and down the East Coast. Benoit's mission in finding Bigfoot stems from his attachment to nature and the Shenandoah environment. His appreciation of the forest and its inhabitants is what drives him. Uh, my main focus is on, a lot is on wildlife. Benoit says the main thing he keeps a lookout for are oddities in the forest that native species wouldn't leave behind. When you're out there, you're observant. You're looking at the ground. Um, you want to be aware of your surroundings. Things I like to look for, but yet you have to remain objective on them, is structures. Things that look like something that nature didn't build. Benoit's research has led him to some of the most remote places in the Shenandoah Mountains, but an incident on May 3, 2014, was better than any footprint or structure he's found. We didn't know what we were seeing at first because it was just mainly eye shine. And it was eye shine that had me puzzled because here I am, I'm very well acquainted and familiar with the wildlife that's in this particular area. And the eye shine and the movement that was happening just didn't make sense to me. I, I had no idea what it was. Cause, you know, at one point my buddy Trace that was with me, he's like, guys, we got squatches. I was like, I think so. <laughs> For now, Benoit plans on continuing his research and working on community outreach to involve more people in the study of Sasquatches. My main goal is to spread awareness of both wildlife and Bigfoot and uh, just educate people the best I can. Reporting for Breeze TV, I'm Emma Johnson.